was there particularly in the pommels and the high bar now russia's bondarenko next to go high bar routine the 24 year old born in kazakhstan a european champion remember back in 1998 as our expert here in the box has pointed out possibly the most stylish of all the gymnasts out there comes into this final performance of the day lying in second position locked in a classic battle with dan petra of romania yes i think um it's safe to say, in my opinion, he is one of the, he is the most complete gymnast in this championship. Kovac tucked, Kachev straight and then in straddle. But of course, now only C and D elements. Needs in bar skills, the endo into the full turn. Oh, and that went into orbit. That was a fantastic dismount. Absolutely fabulous and a startling routine. Absolutely startling. Crowd thrilling, but I don't think judge thrilling because he's just missing out some in-bar twisting. But um, really beautiful to watch. Closer look at his release and catches, I think. There's the tidy tucked Kovac that's double tucked somersault and he's going straight into the Kachev innovated by former European champion Kachev that was a straight one and that was a straddled one and we see the women perform though that particular skill on the asymmetric bars now but I do hope we get a slow motion of his dismount here the full twisting one arm Introduced first of all by Suarez, the great Cuban, back in 1981 World Championships. Seems years ago, but just watch this dismount, watch his feet, watch where they go. Up, hit the Union Jack, double twisting, double, and uh, brilliant landing. Well, he's certainly given it everything <laughs> for really, gold. He really has thrown the gauntlet down. Absolutely. His last performance, some will say an advantage going before Dan Petra. He really will have to absorb a lot of pressure now. Surely that's good enough to put Bondarenko into top position. The judges understand it'll be taking a little longer, and no, it is not. Bondarenko has gone into second position. Not enough score, 